Well, we're talking here about the size of your painting, specifically with the size of painting when you're painting on paper. In intuitive creativity and the flow painting experience, we're working with our intuition. So size does matter when you're creating a painting that is possibly for a space that you want it to fit into, say in your kitchen or for a client above a lounge, in a lounge above the fireplace, then size matters. But when we're working with flow painting, we are tapping into our intuition and we are allowing our intuition to guide the size. And it's kind of like, well, what do you feel like the size to be? It doesn't matter. And when we can trust that, then amazing things arise. Our creativity opens up like a, like a volcano erupting and incredible creations come out of that space. When we are creating from our intuitive intuition, um, sorry, our intuition and our innate creativity. And so when we tap into that place, we can really be amazed at what we can create because we're really not creating from our heads, which means we're not creating from our ego. We are creating from a deeper place of true creativity. So today I'm going to give you a little tip. I want you to imagine that this is my painting. Imagine it's, it could be really big and it could be really small, uh, but today this is the size that it is, right? And now I get this like intuitive hit, a little like mm, I'm feeling constricted by these borders and it feels like this painting wants to go beyond the edge. Not a problem. What we will do is create some more space to paint on. So what I'm going to do here is uh, remove the side that I want to add on to. And then I'm going to put the tape behind. So I'm going to tape it together from the back so that there's no visibility of the tape from the front when I um, continue the painting and it becomes just makes the painting one solid piece with no visibility of that and then I'm going to stick my new piece now maybe I want to get creative and you know stick it like that but I think today I'll just do uh, that even though it doesn't fit that's absolutely quite fine because this is an intuitive painting and an intuitive process and we're doing it for the process not the product all right, and so now I'm going to continue to um, stick my um, this piece down so that it's also secured so that it won't buckle when I put layers and layers and layers of paint onto my painting. And then I can continue. And that's how you make your painting bigger. It can be as big as you want it to be, as your intuition guides it to be, and also, of course, as big as your space allows it to get. But you know, get creative. Put some plastic down and just grow as big as it needs to be. You can also make it smaller by tearing pieces off and then reconnecting them together and um, making it like a, almost like a puzzle. When you do the painting process with me, I will encourage you to... If you're going to tear pieces off, which is quite fine, maybe your intuition tells you it really needs to come out, this piece needs to go. Tear it off, keep it, never throw anything away that you have created. The reason is that A, it's part of you, it's part of your process. It's to be acknowledged and embraced, not to be thrown away just without thinking. We can throw it away consciously at the end if it's absolutely necessary and if it really feels like it's not part of the painting. But you may be surprised. It could want to come back into your painting at a later stage. So hold on to everything that you tear off and don't let it uh, be forgotten and just let go of unconsciously. So we're going to be continuing to paint here with no attachment to the outcome um, and doing it for the process so that we can see what arises from our true innate creative force.